This is the seafront of Onagawa. And somehow, well, seems back to the destruction. Another building which has been overturned over here. Cars been left hanging somehow from this building. You can appreciate how everything has been completely destroyed, really. So this is the well the port area and this huge concrete slab is probably uplifted by the tsunami. Well I'm sure it was uplifted by the tsunami. And this is another bu the building I showed you before. It's been overturned. I reckon it was probably over there, so it must have been tsunami when the water was going back in. So we're a little bit further and maybe 50 meters from the from the side of the seaside in the port. Uh, here the white building was a, a fire department. A fire department. Um, apparently it was also a tsunami refuge refuge and the tsunami height was probably higher than the building so it wasn't very successful. This was just um no. Here we see more buildings that have been overturned completely. This is quite significant. The buildings seem to be seem to have been um, they have a pile foundation probably. As you can see. This is the other side of the buildings that were overturned. Here you see the seas over there. And you see here one of the buildings with one of the power foundations just sticking there at the edge. And you see here how this building was overturned. And it's really damaged in the process. So, in Onagawa and here, this building that you see, it's actually, well, what you see is actually just foundations. The building's been completely overturned. And the tsunami was coming, well, let's see which is over there. This building should be on this face far better. And today we also have a TV crew coming with us and journalists and journalists. So we're continuing our survey. Go down onto Onagawa. Here you see a building, probably the tsunami went up to oh, what is that? The fourth floor? Is that building? And you can see that behind it pretty much all the buildings are destroyed, all the buildings have been destroyed. Here in this temple up here, fully affected, it's like the temple on the hill. Now we're on top of the town hall, yeah. and then the tsunami probably came at least to the third floor. As you can see, this is third floor. We're in, we're in the roof, so which would be the fourth floor. And the tsunami arrived over there, just to the top of the hedge over there. And you can see the tsunami line with rubbish. Oh, mm. this is the same height of. Uh the ground or hospital, I see. Okay, I think I think so, no? So maybe just about... Mm. So here we're at the top of the hospital. On a... On a gawa. Now we are in Takenaura and um, this is a small little fishing village. They constructed this little wall because last year when the uh, 2010 Chile tsunami happened, they had a tsunami inundation of 
two or five meters or something, so this little wall was enough to protect against that kind of tsunami, but not enough to protect against what they got here, which as you can see destroyed quite a lot of the houses. So here we're on top of the breakwater. We have just met the guy who designed the breakwater. As you can see, most of the breakwaters actually survived, most, uh, the first few sections. And the rest of the breakwater is actually also in place, but these caissons, the top part, which we failed through Shia, and apparently the designer said that the, um, the breakwater has been cast in two places in two, in two times. So here you can see the edge of the first cast, and then they put some reinforcement bars to connect it to the top. Uh, but this failed in three sections over here, and apparently, according to the design, this is the area which would concentrate most of the wave force. So that's why they designed it like this. That's what I understood, anyway. So, and here you can see the village and how there's a lot of damage. So, this is the way to the sea, this is the entrance to Onagawa Bay, and here we can see just what's left of the caisson breakwater to protect the, this bay. So just a couple of caissons <laughs> over there for breakwater to protect that uh, extended for most of the entrance of the bay. And here we can see Onagawa town. Okay. Anyway, just another area we are surveying. Here there's a breakwater which is almost intact. And you can see here the tsunami sign. Um, of course this tsunami was much bigger than what the right here after the Chilean tsunami is, so this uh, defenses were completely overwhelmed. Although the, the defense itself is fairly intact. Uh, and it seems it wasn't closed at the time of the tsunami because we see lots of cables and things. So this is one problem with countermeasures, they are not closed. But even if this was closed, probably there still would have been damage from here. This was much higher than it was designed for. <laughs> 